Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. The Jamaica Public Service Company, JPS Co., has launched a fully owned subsidiary to assist with the development of electrical services. In addition to streamlining its energy storage, the new firm will also chart the way forward for electric charging stations. TVJ's Andrew Laidley reports. The Jamaica Public Service Company is moving to improve its services across the island. That's why JPS created a separate company to focus on specific areas. So today we announced the launch of our fully owned subsidiary of JPS. It is called Blue Skies Energy and it will provide operations and maintenance services to organizations and companies like the South Jamaica Power Company. Uh, it will also offer the distributed generation to customers, energy storage solutions for customers. Blue Skies Energy has brought JPS closer to satisfying the needs of motorists with electric cars. This year we'll be rolling out 12 electric charging stations right across Jamaica. So we'll have coverage so that wherever you drive in Jamaica, you'll be within 30 to 40 kilometers of a charging station, which will mean that if you have an electric vehicle, you can go anywhere in Jamaica and have access to electric charging. JPS CEO Emmanuel De Rosa says that's just the beginning. Uh, in the future, as more electric vehicles come to Jamaica, we'll continue to look at where the demand is greater and we'll con and increase you know, charging facilities in the areas that they're more needed. JPS recently commissioned its 190 megawatt LNG energy plant in Old Harbor St. Catherine, which is expected to reduce power outages on the island. And lately, TVJ News. Tolo Oil has been given six months more to decide whether if it wants to drill a well offshore Jamaica in the search for oil. The company is also in talks to sell some of its shares in the block. The news of the expansion, the extension rather, was shared this morning by United Oil & Gas, Tullus partner, which owns a 20% stake in the license. According to United, January 31 this year was the expiration date for the initial exploration period. A commitment to drill an exploration well would have been required to move into the next phase of the license. With the extension, the joint venture now has until July 31 before the drill or drop decision is required. Oil futures edged higher today as worries about global supply disruptions continued to ease. Oil for delivery in February gained $0.08 cents to settle at $58.13 per barrel. Currency trading ending today with the U.S. dollar selling for $137. The Canadian dollar, $103.66. The pound is going for $176.60, while the euro closed the day at $153.49. To the stock market now, the JSE index gained 1,368 points today, while the junior market index lost 6 points. Among the winners, Honeybun, Jetcon Corporation, Consolidated Bakeries, 138 Student Living and the Wisinka Group. On the losing side, we had Carib Cement, Blue Power Group, Paramount Trading, Epley Caribbean Property Fund, and AMG Packaging and Paper Company. And that's the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening. <music>